Huawei's Emotion UI or EMUI is a great addition from Huawei that allows you to customize your phone however you like. Even though it is very close to stock Android with almost no bloatware, that still isn't enough for the enthusiasts like me that love stock experience. So today I'll be walking you through how you can get the full stock experience on any Huawei phone running Emotion UI. So here I have my Huawei Honor 6S on its default out of the box state. First let's install all the required apps and then we'll set them up one by one. Links to all apps will be in the description down below. The first app we'll be installing is the stock Android P theme for EMUI. I particularly like this one because of the desaturated colors and stability. However, you can browse around the Play Store and find a ton of stock themes. Try each of them out and see which one you like. Next we will install Launcher Launcher which is the best stock launcher you can get. Next is Pixiwai Icon Pack. And last but not least, we'll need Material Notification Shade. If you like MUI's default notification bar, then you don't need to install this app. Those are all the apps you'll need to get the stock experience on EMUI. If you want to replace everything, such as your wife and kids, then I'll leave a link to a reliable lawyer in the description down below. <laughs> what? If you want to replace your messaging app and everything, then I'll leave links to Google Apps in the description below. Now we begin setting things up. Let's first open up our EMUI theme and apply it. Applying a theme from an app is fairly easy. Just tap on the install button to save the theme in your storage. Then head over to your theme app, apply your theme, and restart your phone. Once your phone is back up, you don't need the Themes app, so you can uninstall it if you want. Next, we'll make Launcher or Default Launcher. To do that, go to Settings, Apps, Settings again, Default App Settings, Launcher, and select Launcher. Go to the launcher settings and change the icon pack. Now we have one more app to go. Open a material shade, enable it and give it all required permissions. If you want, you can go through the settings and customize it to your liking. I like to change the panel theme to Oreo, make the shade color gray and shade foreground color white, and leave the rest of the settings as they are. Now like I said, if you want to take it up a notch, you can replace some apps with Google Apps and get the full stock experience. And that does it for this video. So the question of the day is, should phone manufacturers make their own customizable UI like EMUI or just stick with the stock Android out of the box? Leave your answers in the comments below. And that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new here and check out more videos on my channel. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more Android setups videos like this one more often. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.